Anyway, this video is going to be about this custom built computer, which just so happens to be an Athlon XP. Hmm. The shadow is quite interesting. But anyway, you can see that on the front we have a 52 speed LG CD rewritable drive. And then below it we just have a floppy drive and then USB ports, power button, reset button, which is impossible to press unless you were like a midget or a really mutant freaking mouse or something, I don't know. Oh crap, I'm almost tripped that monitor. So anyway, don't want to point the camera there. So inside, I mean around back, might help if I turn it around. Hmm. Hope the lighting turns out even though like the light's facing that way. Who gives a crap? Just power supply. On off switch. That's very much a piece of crap too. PS2 mouse and keyboard ports, which instead of being like here and here, are right there and there for whatever reason. Just to make you mad, I guess. It's a parallel port. Uh, VGA port. Four USB ports. Uh, network LAN port, Ethernet, whatever the hell you want to call it. A 15-pin MIDI joystick port if you actually use a game controller that uses that interface. Um, line out. Line in, what I'm guessing is a microphone, considering it has a picture of a microphone. I don't know what else looks like a microphone. So then you have two serial ports that are conveniently mounted upside down. Then you have one that's mounted up right side up. Now, a few things I want to point out about this case. I'm not talking about the computer at the moment. I will get to that in a minute. Top of the case is a dent there, a dent there, like... Seriously, how do you manage to make a dent that small, that much of a point? Like, were you hitting it with a hammer? Were you dropping a deep freeze on it? Were you, like, freaking throwing it? Which leads me to say this. There's this deformation up here. Right here, the side cover is bent to hell. It doesn't even fit properly. Not to mention down here, there's this big freaking, like, how did they manage that? Like, even the slots are bent. Where's my flashlight? Okay, oh, can this thing be more of a piece of crap? Come on, stay. Alright. Even the slots themselves are bent. I don't even know. Like, really. But that side's just fine and dandy. But, like, really? Was it. Like, how do you do that without damaging anything here or here? You must have had to, like, hit it with something. That couldn't have been just dropped. Same there. Someone was going all caps rage on this thing. The, the front is free of blemishes except for that, 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 that. And the door is missing, but other than that, it's fine. And usually you would just be able to remove, like, some sort of thumb screw or something and pull it off. But no, you've got to remove not two, but just one screw at the bottom of the case to get it off. And do you know how convenient it is that I don't have a screwdriver? Or do I? No, yes, I do. I didn't think I did, but, you know, whatever. So I've got to remove one screw. Oh, that's so difficult. Okay, if your screwdriver would work. Should be used to. Yeah, it's not coming off, is it? No. Come on, dude. Screw you. Alright, there we go. Now, take the side cover off, grab it, and you can pull it off. Moving the whole case. Alright. Grab it and pull it off. 
What the hell? Grab it. Pull it off. Okay, well, how do we get it off? Then? Of course. It's just there swinging. Um. Wow, that's one heavy side panel. Oh. Never mind, it's just that thing. Or is it? Pretty damn flimsy, but you know. Overbuilt for this piece of crap. So inside this pile of crap, you have a pile of crap, and that's not the most interesting part. Part. Port. I cannot speak, can I? So to show the cheapness of this thing, it uses an Ace Rock, Ass Rock. Motherboard, which is Asus's cheapo, generic piece of crap motherboard division. Oh, huh. please don't use an AGP 3.3 volt card on this AGP slot of this motherboard. It may cause permanent damage. I like how they give you a sticker, as if you wouldn't already know that. Right there, you've got an AMR slot, which is an audio modem riser. Two PCI slots. I don't know why they couldn't just put one there and put the battery right there, but you know, whatever. <laughs> so stupid. Anyway, so there you've got a serial card. I don't even know. Oh, made in Canada. You would never see that. It was made by Laua Computers. Laua Computers. Oh, screw it. It's made by some company. And then, so you've got two serial ports, and then one coming off the motherboard and going here. So, I don't know. Whoever owned it could have just used that one, but no, we've got to have two more. Whatever. So you can see it brags about having ATA 133 speed IDE right there. There's your 20 pin power. I almost said 24 pin. It's starting to become modern. Stupid flashlight. Anyway, uh, there's no four pin power anywhere. That's really odd. Back. Excellent XP power. Excellent X power. I don't know. <laughs> 280 watts. I wish. 180 watts. That's more like it. <laughs> At least they're honest with this lower score. I put it at 4 watts. The best. So the RAM it has is DDR1 Kingston value crap. Or is that really RAM? Too much dust on it. I can't see. Isn't that nice? I got dust on my finger. It is Kingston. That's a genuine Kingston RAM. Oh, oh yeah, counterfeit RAM. Damn it, flashlight. There we go. So you can see there is very nice cable management with the floppy cables and IDE cables. If I do say so myself. They have it going back all the way to the front of the case and then coming right back and then plugging in. With the CD-ROM drive, they have it go up. Oh wow, up over the CD-ROM drive, back out. And down uh, into the board. Very nice, very nice. There is the um, CPU cooler. I don't know if you can see this hologram here. Haha, <laughs> I'm getting the hologram on camera. Nice. Alright, what am I gonna run out of space? Wow, oh, it took long enough. Anyway. Not a single blown capacitor, somehow. Power supply is most likely dead. You know, those power supplies are actually a shiny color, like the old AT ones. It's not like the generic flat color of actually this whole case is shiny, so I can't really give an example. Oh, like that. Yeah. 
So there's the LG drive, there's the floppy drive, and the hard drive is safe. <clears throat> Seagate Barracuda 7200 RPM 80 gig drive. So it's nothing special. Oh, look. CSA approved. Canadian Standard Association approved for Canada and for some reason this is US. So there's the front panel USB and all that other useless crap. And you can see they were so cheap. There is only three screws holding the motherboard in. One there, one there, one there. The rest of the thing is held in by these stupid plastic things. You probably can't even see them. Who gives a crap? Oh, weird. There may have been a second drive in here at one point. Because you can see in there, there's two of those things, but then there's one missing, and then there's the CD drive. Interesting. Well, anyway. Wow. What a piece of crap. Alright. I suppose it's time to plug this stupid thing in. I'm, I know that for a fact there's something I missed. I just know it. Now what could it be? Let's go to clock battery. So there's that. An SAS chipset. Alright. Now I know. It's an SAS chipset. Mm hmm. There is literally nothing to say about this computer. Except it looks like the front panel is easier. There's one, two, three clips here, and I don't know how many on the other side. Probably the same or similar number. It's dirty, though. Power supply is growing a beard. That's about it. Yeah. Put this side ca side panel back on and plug this pile of dog crap in. Okay, I've got it hooked up. I'm gonna use this outstandingly cheap certified data mouse with the sideways laser. As <laughs> if that'll work. So let's see what happens if I turn it on. Nothing apparently. It's on, so nevertheless. Let's see if the monitor will turn on. I don't know if you can see an image or something. Some sort of indication of a refresh rate. Because that monitor. Takes forever to warm up. Oh, might help if I turn the power supply on. If I can find a damn switch. Ugh. Oh. This is working. Oh, yeah, it is. There's not even sound drivers. I'm not even going to plug in speakers. It's going to pop up. 
Let me just do it a minute. Play games with the camera, something that won't get that stupid black line. God damn it, that's bad. Holy crap, this is terrible. Oh, yeah, sure. Mouse doesn't work. That's just freaking great it makes my goddamn day hmm <laughs> oh okay it does work so you can see the laser through the freaking mouse. Oh god. No, I don't give a crap. Okay, let's go to this. Updates are ready. <laughs> it's not even connected to the internet. This mouse kind of has a weird personality, but you know, whatever. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, all right. Interesting. Anyway, AMD F1 XP 2800 plus which is 2 gigahertz with 480 megabytes of RAM. Even if there's one RAM stick, I don't know how that even adds up. Unless there's a lot of shared video memory. Oh, so it's Edmonton Test Machine 01. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Device manager and see what kind of crap we have in here. Oh yeah, of course, multimedia audio controller that would explain the sound driver. You want a sound driver, I'll take the sound driver and shove it up your ass. Anyway. I don't even know what to say, like there's not much at all, if anything, to say about this computer. Oh, that explains a lot. Yeah, bias information. What kind of freaking character even is that? It's like a line with a thing. Like, like, do you see one of those on here? No. No, definitely not. That's freaking non-existent. I'm gonna guess it's an... I'm gonna guess it's half a bracket, so bias information. Bracket, 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 bracket. I, I, I could go on and on. Alright, and um, adapter chip type, SIS, DAC type, digital to analog converter, I don't know, 6 bit, I doubt that. Memory size, 32 megabytes, that explains why it's only 402 like, megabytes of RAM. Adapter string VGA, no crap. Alright, and so that's all for this video. So yeah.